eyes are in for such a treat today. You watch me while I complete this entire cake from start to finish. You'll love hey it. Hey there. Hey everybody. I am so glad you're joining me today on Michelle's Southern Home Cooking. I am fixing up something I've wanted to do, but the time frame just hasn't worked out. Uh, busy with work, personal things, all kinds of things. But this deserved a really good video. And I wanted to do it for you and do you guys justice. Uh, so, I've got all the ingredients. I'm going to get started. Talk to you in a little bit. Now, I'm going to tell you like a friend. I bake scratch cakes. I do. This one uses a box that's doctored up. And I promise, if you'll follow my directions, it will be absolutely delicious. You can make this. Now, here's what you'll need for the cake part. You'll need a Betty Crocker Delight Super Moist Butter Pecan Cake Mix, a fourth a cup of vegetable oil, a fourth a cup of butter, and we're going to melt this, but I just wanted to show you for reference, it's a fourth a cup. Um, we're going to use two tablespoons of maple syrup or your favorite pancake syrup, whatever you have. And we're going to use three whole eggs and one extra egg yolk. And we're, to fix the pecans that are going to go in the, in the cake mix batter, we're going to need a small saute pan and a tablespoon of butter and a fourth a cup of chopped pecans or pecans, however you pronounce it. And let's get to going. I'm going to melt this butter on a medium heat. So I'm going to let that melt and then we're going to add the pecans and saute them until they're covered. And we're not trying to bake them or roast them in or anything. Now the ingredients for the icing have to soften. It's a cream cheese maple uh, icing and it's homemade. So you're going to need the Philadelphia brand cream cheese or your favorite cream cheese, eight ounce block. Go ahead and let that sit out and a stick of butter, which is a half a cup. Okay. Let that just sit and soften and it'll be ready by the time our layers are cool. I melted the tablespoon of butter and I'm just coating the pecans in them. And I'm going to tell you something about pecans. Um, they come chopped up, but they're kind of still big. And I like just a little piece of pecan that, you know, is not going to be too hunkin' big to mess up my cake or my icing or anything. But once you get them coated in the butter, you can cut it off. Cut it off. That doesn't take but about a minute or two, okay? Because we don't want them really hot because we're going to put them in our batter. I've got the cake mix in my mixer, and it's ready to go. I'm going to first put the fourth a cup of oil. I'm going to put the two tablespoons of maple syrup or your favorite pancake syrup, whichever you have. I'm going to put three whole eggs and one extra egg yolk. Y'all, I forgot one ingredient, a cup of whole milk into addition. So we're going to get that blended up and then we're going to add the melted that butter. milk in here that I just about forgot. <laughs> Whoo, y'all, it's been a day. Now, I was recording this video in the later evening. My finger hit the slow-mo instead of video. Oh my gosh, I'm so outdone. But basically, you just blend everything for about 30 seconds, scrape down the sides and the beaters, and then you blend it again and add the melted butter after everything is blended. You'll want to just stream it in slowly on a low speed, but I promise there's not one that slow. <laughs> After about a minute and a half, you'll want to stop and take it off and fold in these pecans or pecans, whatever you call them. And they, are, they make this so rich and decadent. They really do. Just fold them in gently, y'all. And you don't have to go that slow. I was horrified when I listened to this, but you'll learn, you'll learn, you'll understand the cake will get made. I can assure you, if you haven't tried this already, try my cake release. It's the most amazing thing. I've got a video on it to show you how to whip it up and it's equal parts oil, flour, and Crisco. And it just adheres to the pans and you get the most beautiful layers that come out. I'll show you. I even it out into two pans and they're ready to go in the oven, 325 degrees. And we're going to look at them in about 22 to 25 minutes. Okay, 
guys, it's not quite ready. I'm gonna do it another three minutes. When the edge is pulling out and you can gently press on it and it comes right, springs right back up, it's ready. I let them cool in the pan for five minutes before I turn them out. I sure wish I had smell-o-vision. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful, but they sure smell even better. Can't wait to put this together for you. It's probably going to take between 40 minutes to an hour to cool down. We're gonna get started on the icing. I have a softened stick of butter I'm gonna put in as well as a soft block of cream cheese. I've got them both in there and we're gonna whip them on up. Okay, I had whipped that probably a good minute and a half. And we're gonna scrape down the sides in the beater. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of maple syrup or your favorite pancake syrup. And the one that you think tastes the best to you. The teaspoon of vanilla and the tablespoon of pancake syrup. That is well blended and it looks great. Uh, we're going to put in a pound and a half of sugar, approximately. We're gonna start with a pound, which would be one box if you buy it in the old fashioned boxes, but most of the bags come in two pound bags now. Go ahead and add about a third of the powdered sugar, which would be like eight ounces or a half a pound. And we're gonna blend that and mix it in slowly. Pulse it until you see the icing in the middle of the beater where it's coming together. And then you can leave it on. That way you avoid a big puff of powdered sugar. You still might get some, but it's not gonna be as dramatic. Okay, so that half a pound is mixed in. Let's do the next half a pound. Now I'm gonna tell you something about powdered sugar. Some of the cheaper brands, it, it's not sifted. You have to end up sifting your powdered sugar. This brand that I buy, the store brand, is, is sifted just fine. Um, the store brand, the Walmart brand, I hadn't had any problems with those. It's the Sam's Club. Sam's Club, I've had to sift them, and they come in seven pound packages. When I'm using so much around Christmas. Okay, now the last pound of sugar. Leave the top up. It'll be easier to put in the show. Now, after this last pound, you'll tell I've incorporated it and it's sticking to the sides better. That's when you know it's about ready. When I lift it up like this, you can test it. Do you see how it holds the shape? Let's scrape down the sides. And the beater one last time and blend it another 30 seconds or so to get it all done. There it is. Maple cream cheese icing. Yum. So here's how these beautiful layers turned out. Aren't they gorgeous? This is the side that's up in the pan. This is the bottom. I always turn it over and I ice the bottom because it's more of a finish size. If you ice the top part, it's subject to get the crumbs in the icing. It'll just finish better if you do it this way. Okay. My trusty 1M tip. I just loaded it with the maple cream cheese icing. And I have my super de duper mini spatula. And let's get ice in this cake. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. You can start in or out. I'm just going to kind of get the edge there and go in a swirl. Now, if you have a turntable, it's a handy dandy thing to have. If you don't, that's fine. You can just take your time and turn it by hand. But 
I did the perimeter. We just want to bring it out to the edge. And we can add our second layer. Now you can do this in three layers if you want to. Just, you're not gonna have quite as much icing to play with. But it'll still be fine. I do that seam first and then hold this at an angle and go around. And go back the other way, smooth it on out. Okay, I'm gonna do a zigzag pattern up and down on the sides. I'm gonna show you how to just hold this at an angle and smooth it out as you're turning. Okay. All right, and then just go up slightly. Just edge your way up, just ever so slightly. And it creates a pretty little decoration just a little groove on the sides, and I'll show you that when we get done with the rest. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did, except I'm making tighter circles, because I want to make sure we're not, um, we've gotta cover the entire cake, so. Now, I'm gonna tell you about an option. You can choose to decorate this with just some pecans and some swirls and all that kind of stuff. There is a caramel ice cream syrup that is divine on this that you can add and it makes it beautiful. Okay, we're gonna even all this out. Then we're gonna join those edges together. Kind of Go around and then go the opposite way. And that'll take care of your edges. Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna work on the top. On the sides, I'm gonna do a lavish swirl. And then you can just put some swirls and dollops on it all you want to. Now, that's pretty. We're gonna do the sides scallop a border and I think we're gonna use up most of this icing if not all of it if you were icing three layers you w probably wouldn't have enough to be quite as elaborate on the top let's just add some pecans now these pecans I don't care if they're a little bit larger I just put them kind of everywhere on top just for decorations because there's pecans all in the layers. You can put anywhere from a fourth to a half a cup, but it's pretty. It sure is. But you know what? I am going to give you a little caramel drizzle. Let's see how it looks. Now the, the caramel, if you will heat it up about 10 seconds and stir it, you pour out um, how much you want, but there's not that much left in this. So I'm just gonna kind of show you if you would take the fork and go back and forth and drizzle it on. It's absolutely stunning. Now you can add more and have it drip on the sides, but I'm just not doing that this time. And it, there's no rhyme nor reason because it will fall with gravity to where it wants to be. But I think that's pretty and that's enough. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Okay, guys. Here's this beautiful cake. It's scrumptious, adorable, and delectable. Look at all that. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I'm telling you. Let me turn this around. Oh, man. I cannot tell you the decadence, the deliciousness, the amazingness of this cake. It's beautiful. It's so delicious. And the extra added ingredients that I put in and the time that it takes to do the little extra steps is just so much worth it. And don't deviate from the cake batter recipe. I'm telling you, wow. Y'all enjoy it. Please let me know if you make it. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. 
I've got tons of other cake videos, healthy videos, Christmas videos, Thanksgiving videos. Check out my playlist. There's going on 150, I think, now. Y'all take care. Have a good evening. Bye.